What's going on everyone? It's Sean with another Tesla video. I apologize for the slight hiatus. I've gotten, all of a sudden I got really busy with the real estate business and so I haven't had much time to work on anything else. Now, as you can see in this video, I'm not in my normal Tesla, my Model S. I've actually, I actually dropped that off this morning and they gave me a 100D, brand new 100D loaner. When I picked it up at the service center, it only had four miles on it. Crazy, right? Now in this video, I actually want to show you three new features that Tesla has added to the Model S's rolling off the line today, right now, and they're pretty exceptional. Let's dive in. As far as the production date of this particular Model S, it's actually, let's open up the door and see. February, February of 2018. So here we've got the Denver area. Let's Let's go this way, um, zoom out a little bit. You can see how quickly everything loads. As I zoom out and even this, it loads much faster than the older ones. And even when you go into the settings, it's, it's much more responsive. Um, So much, much more responsive. And hat tip to fellow Tesla YouTuber and fellow Denver Tesla Club member uh, for pointing me towards an area where I could confirm it actually does have the AMD 64. The old MCUs, I understand, the CPU says undefined. Tesla's made a big update here, and this should pave the way for a lot of other things tied to this screen. Let me show you the first one, and this would be the second new feature on new Tesla's rolling off the line, and it is the maps. Maps are a little bit different. They're diff different colors that they're using around state parks, and the maps are much more defined, much more detailed, and I believe this is what Electric reported on a few months ago with higher definition, being able to zoom in much further, much more detailed, much more detailed. Look how fast the, the satellite imagery loads. That's amazing. Normally that, that takes forever. I'm really loving that this is so much zippier in the new touchscreen. Really, really nice. And hopefully more features will follow now that the MCU is has been updated. Now the third new feature I wanted to show you in Model S's rolling off the production line are, look at this. These are the lighted sun visors that are on the three you can see the lights to the left and to the right. It even has this little iPad-like cover, just like the Model 3s. You can kind of fold it like that and it's magnetic. Or you can fold it all the way up and the light turns off. Really, really cool. I'm so glad that they added this as well. Now I was wondering if Tessa may have added the uh, coat hooks like the Model 3, but you can see there, there's only a light and no coat hook along there. You know what else would have been nice if Tesla added in along with the updated sun visor is the adjustable seatbelt. In the Model 3, you can actually raise and lower. It's the same thing in the Model X, but for whatever reason, the Model S does not have that adjustable height for the seatbelt. But as for now, those are some really, really great additions to the Model S. Will they have it with the Model X? That's the question. I wonder if new Model X is running, coming off the line, have included the new MCU, because I haven't seen any videos yet with that. But my guess is yes. I would love to know from some owners who have just picked up their X if they're seeing the same things in their new car. So that's it for this one. Excited to see that Tesla's adding some new things to the interior. It's gone relatively unchanged for many, many, many years. And especially with this MCU, 
I think it's the original one that they've been using since 2011, the Integra-based MCU. Now I understand that they've switched to Intel. Thanks so much for tuning into this video, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you're not new and you've enjoyed many of my videos, please hit that like button. And if you are in the market for an S or an X that is newer inventory, my referral code is down below. If you're not in the market for one, that's okay as well. You can still participate. If you click that same referral link and you subscribe to Tesla's email list, it will enter you in to test drive the Tesla semi-truck. So it would be really cool to meet you in person as well. That's it for this one. See you on the next video.